Hello everybody, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from Potomac Beads. In case you're interested in this box, I will leave a link for it down there below in the description bar. Alright, so let's go ahead, open this up, and see what this month's theme is. It is called Poolside Glam. That sounds very interesting. And again, I do get the XL box, which is the larger one that has two projects. And opening this up, here are my two projects. Poolside Glam necklace pattern, mermaid tail bracelet pattern, and then here is the bonus pattern. These here are actually the projects. And then here are the beads for your stash. Alright. So let's see. This is going to be one of the projects in the box. It said Poolside, not paper. And this is really pretty. Oh, a cushion. Potomac Crystal Cushion, 12 millimeter. That I actually thought that was a Rivoli, looking at the picture, but it's this. I have never bezeled that before, so that's cool. And then Potomac Rondeaux, two millimeter seed beads, Fireline. And here is the instructions. And I gotta say, I'm very impressed that they can put a project like this onto one piece of paper. Do you realize how much work this is? Look at that. I don't think I could do this. There is so much to this little pendant here. All those beads you have to go through. I don't think I could put all of the instructions for this on one paper. But they do it and they make it seem so easy to follow. Alright, here is the mermaid tail. That's cool. That's really cool. I like this. Look at that. And here's the instructions for this. And here is the free project. I've made earrings like this before. Haven't I? Maybe it wasn't earrings. Maybe I just did... No, I did earrings, but it was not um, a single tassel strand. I looped it around. That's what I did. This is the bonus pattern. I like making tassels, especially beaded tassels. They are the best ones. All right, let's see. This here is going to be the poolside glam one. I could tell that by the materials in here. And this is my favorite color. In case you didn't know, you should know by now. If you've been watching my videos, you should know that that turquoise color is my favorite. All right, so we have PC Rondell's Loose Beads Use Care When Opening Bag. Oh yes, because we're going to go everywhere, right? This color is actually not opaque. It is opalescent. It's a milky. It's what In check beads, they call it milky. But this is not a check bead. I believe this is actually a Chinese crystal bead. Anyways, it is a milky turquoise. And man, is it gorgeous. Love it. And they actually have really nice size holes. See that bead there? How big the hole is? And these here, I would say, are like the same exact size as 10 OC beads. So if you're doing a project with 10 OC beads and you have these, you can use these if you want some sparkle in your piece. I've done that. And here is the toggle, which I have to say is the cutest. Look how tiny this toggle is. That is so tiny. Really cute. And here is the stone. This is neat. I gotta take this out. Oh, that is pretty. I think that's the back. Yeah, and this is the top. But you know, you could do whatever side you want, really. I, I kind of think I like the pointed side more. Looks like a star. That's pretty. And then we have the 11-0 Miyuki C bead. I don't know if these are galvanized or what. I would have to go onto their site and put the code in to see what they are actually called. They could be the Labrador C beads. And then moving on to the next bag. Oh, those are cool. Look at those. Those are there. So those. This is the next project. This is the Mermaid Tail. 
bracelet. Isn't that what that's called? Mermaid tail bracelet. That's this bag. Alright, so first we have a big bag of seed beads here. Lebano Miyuki. These are silver lined seed beads. It's a very pale blue. These are really pretty. pretty. I do not have this color in my stash. I don't think I've ever had this color. Those are gorgeous. And then Magatamas. I like Magatamas. They're really great to work with in macrame, I just recently found out. Because, um, do you guys remember I did... Here, let me show you real quick. I showed you guys how to make these earrings. These little owl earrings. This is a tutorial on my channel. And I found out that they work great in macrame. Because look at his little wings right there. Isn't that cute? Look at those with Magatamas. Long Magatamas. And that's what these are. I like this color too. And then we have, what is this? Magnetic disc clasp. Hmm. This actually looks like a connector thing. It's very strong. I need something to open it actually. There we go. Yeah, that is a strong magnet. That's one side. Pretty cool. I've not seen one like this. And then these. These are neat. I found these one time at a thrift store on a headband that was broken. I got maybe 60 of them on there. They're clear rhinestones though. And um... What was I going to say? I forgot. They're clear and... I don't remember what I was going to say. This is pretty. This is a milky color. I love the milky. Oh, they're smaller. That's what I was going to say. They're smaller than these. These are like almost double the size of the ones that I got. But they're really cool. The holes are right here and you can pass the holes straight this way. Or you can use them. You can use them like this or you can use them like this depending on which direction you go. You know what I'm saying? These actually have open bottom and mine are solid flat in the back. And then we have Dragon Scales. I got these last time in this box, and I wanted to use them so bad, but, but I ended up making, I think I called it a hopscotch bracelet. I'll put a picture of that up now. From my last box, and um, I just, I could not get these to work in that project, so I didn't use them, but they're really cool. I love this color. And maybe this time I can design something with them. These here are Diamond Duo Beads. Now, what is the other one called? I bought these. There, there's another bead that's similar to this, but it's bigger, isn't it? There's Diamond Duo and another one. I cannot remember it right now. Maybe when I go to edit this. Is it Gem Duo? There's so many different ones, but I have one that is shaped just like this but it's bigger but at this moment I cannot remember the name but this color is gorgeous I swear mine are bigger oh this is mini this is a mini diamond duo mini that's why so they actually come in two different sizes it is so cool how they can do a small version and a bigger version of these beads I have um the regular silky beads which I love silkies are so cool and I went to Hobby Lobby and found the mini uh, silky beads and it's just really cool to play with all different sizes but yeah this color is gorgeous I love this color mix that they did very pretty all right now we're gonna move on to the things for our stash and I gotta go to these right here 
These are white lava beads. How did they make this? They cannot be lava, right? Because lava, I thought, was only in black. Maybe it's another kind of stone. Maybe it's something they made. But they are so cool. Really pretty. I like those. And then we have some... Oh my gosh. These are earring posts. Monster leaf. I actually have this plant in my yard. These are so cool. So from this hole right here, you can have a bead dangle. You can do really hang whatever you want from it, but you can also like weave on top of this because of how these leaves are I think it would be neat to get a cord and weave in and out between these leaves here there's just a lot that can be done with these because of the holes yeah so this would be a very fun piece to play with And I gotta see this mermaid thing. Is this a bookmark? Yes. Wow. This is so cool. I got one of these before in this box. It's a different pattern. But um, I really like these. That's so cool. I actually wanna see if I can make this into a hairpin. I know she's kind of like wide right here, but it might still work. I don't know. I could try it. I could try it in my hair. I don't know how to actually put a hairpin in. I would have to watch a video on how to do it. But um, I would like to use it as a hairpin. I think I would use it more often that way. Alright. I love this. Cosmic rings. This is a Potomac bead. Oh my gosh, is it two-tone? Yes. This side's clear, and then the other side is that topaz color. This is so pretty. It's really pretty. And then we have some bead frames, pewter, ring, pewter rings. I think they're bead frames. Yeah, they are. They have holes on the sides. Because of how these here have these little teeth, well I say teeth, but it's actually a beaded edge, but because of how they have these little notches here, do you see what I'm saying? These would be great for doing brick stitch around. You just go around and bead them and then I would shoot straight through the center and add a bead in the middle. Make earrings with these. That would be cool. And then we have these here, which I love these so much. I like using large hole beads like this with leather. And um, I use beads like this in my loopy leather bracelets and necklaces that I've done. But look at how gorgeous these are. So pretty. And it says, check faceted pony bead. I've never seen these faceted before. But I have some like this in Picasso, red Picasso, and purple, and some other colors, but um, all of mine are smooth. This is also kind of like a giant sea bead. But those are gorgeous. And then we have, are these bars? Cobalt. Cobalt. Why can't I say that name? Two hole. These are neat. I have used these before in a pendant that I designed, and I never did a video on it because Sometimes I like to challenge myself, and this one time I challenged myself to make a pendant with as many different two-hole beads as I could. And I have like seven or nine different two-hole beads in it. And I didn't do a tutorial on it because it's actually super complicated. And I thought, how many people are going to have this many two-hole beads? And if you want to make the project, if I'm able to figure out how to show it on camera, you would have to spend a lot of money just to make that one piece. But yeah, sometimes I like to do strange things like that to challenge myself. 
And are these O-beads? Yes, O-beads. Oh wow, this color is incredible. Look at that. I would like to try these in um, macrame because they have larger holes. And man, I am a sucker for bronze seed beads. And I, I want to buy these in um, bronze. They're so gorgeous. And here is a cab. Oh wow, that's pretty. Glass cabochon, 20 millimeter. I have a few videos where I bezeled cabochons to make rings and pendants. Whatever material is behind this is like super radiant. I don't know if you could see that or not on camera, but it's really pretty. It's almost like it's glowing. It's like pearlescent. What is this? Oh my gosh. Tropical leaf pendant. Is this resin? Or maybe it's that other stuff I've been seeing. Acetate? Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I don't think it's resin. I think it might be the acetate stuff. This is really cool. I love this. It's super shiny. Look at how shiny it is. Very smooth. This is an awesome piece. I love that. Really cool. And then we have... What's this? Gemstone pendant. Mojave turquoise. I don't know if I said that right. But it's very purdy. I love turquoise. You know what I want to learn to do? My cousin does it. Um, soldering. I want to learn how to do that. She actually solders around glass. She makes some really neat pieces. She's broken plates and stuff and done those, and I would like to try that one day. I have to get the stuff to do it though. And um, sometimes, well, I should say several times, I've bought in like something to try it for jewelry making, and because of the videos, I didn't really get to dive into learning a new jewelry technique. For example, polymer clay. I bought a ton of polymer clay. I bought a pasta machine, several tools. It was like back in 2018 and I really wanted to get into doing something like that but because of all the other stuff that I have going on I have not got to um, play with that much. But yeah that is something else I would like to dive back into. These are really cool little frames. Square frame 15 millimeter. I like how smooth they are. Sometimes when I see frames like this, they're super thin and um, cheap, I guess I would say. But these are like thicker, and also I've seen some that have like sharp edges. These have really smooth edges. I would say this is like 16 gauge, the thickness of this, and they're super smooth. I like these, and these are gonna great for doing brick stitch. these tubelets yes tubelet beads I've really enjoyed playing with these I, I get these in I think almost every box they're really cool beads this looks like the Labrador color silver and then these are these mini duos super 8 beads what I have never tried these look at how teeny tiny these are super tiny pretty color too. Those are really small. I would say that's like one third of a super duo bead. 
And then we have cut buttons. I love these darn cut buttons. I went through a time where I was like trying to collect every color. And just when I thought I got every color, they came out with more colors. And then I got more colors. And then they just kept coming out with more colors. And I could not afford to buy any more colors. But, <laughs> yes. These beads are so cool. It's a glass button. They're really neat. This one is matte AB. So pretty. You can actually use them as beads, by the way. You can stream them like beads, but that would get a little pricey. And then these, wow, these are gorgeous. Miyuki two hole seed beads. I love giant seed beads. I'm a big fan of giant seed beads. Look at that color. It is so magical. That is drop dead gorgeous. These are color lined. In case you didn't know what that means, it means that the bead is usually a clear or transparent color and on the inside of the bead they put a coating. Which seems kind of strange because over time when you do string these, um, the friction from the stringing material rubbing inside the bead does make the color come off. I don't know if you know that or not, but it does happen. Especially if you get it wet. If you don't get it wet, it'll last much longer. Whatever you make with them. Yeah, those are pretty. So this is everything in the box. There is a lot of stuff here. I'm going to lay it all out so you can get a visual of everything. So here is everything laid out. And as you can tell, there is a lot of stuff that comes in this box. If there is a bead here that you would like me to do a video using, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, currently, I'm really liking the Diamond Duo, the mini one here. I would like to play with that. And I like the O beads with it. I also like these with it. And I do want to try the dragon scales again. And so I'm kind of thinking I might go with a bracelet. I could also make earrings with these little frames here. There's a couple options that I see. But just let me know down in the comments if there is something you would like me to work with. And I will see what I can do. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, I will put a link for the subscription box down there below. But hurry quick because it sells out fast. Please like this video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And make sure that you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.